Yeah, g'day. Uh, my name's Mark. Um, my friends call me Big V because I'm big. Always have been. Um, I did really well uh, about nine years ago. I uh, In 2004, I went into the uh, Body for Life uh, competition, the 12-week challenge. And uh, I started off the competition looking like that. And um, by the time I finished, I was looking like, like this, which was really encouraging. And I was really, really happy with those results. Uh, I started at 120 kilos. Uh, sorry, I started at 160. I'm 120 kilos now. But when I did the uh, Body for Life um, competition, I started off at 116.5 kilograms and I got down to 96.5 kilograms. So I lost 20 kilograms. Um, realistically, I, I should have lost more than that even. Um, I still could have gone another probably 10 or 15 kilos more than, uh, than what I had done. Um, but I was extremely happy with the results that I, uh, that I got. But needless to say, I had to work so hard to achieve those results. I was working out five to six times a week. Um, I was on a very um, strictly controlled diet. I was uh, very uh, much high protein and low carbohydrate diet. Uh, I was doing the protein shakes. I had all sorts of supplementation. And um, I was very focused and very determined and very consistent. And that's why I got those good results. The problem that I have is that um, whilst I can do that for 12 weeks while I have a focus and a goal, everyday life, I find it really hard to maintain that level of focus and, and, and effort um, on controlling my weight. And uh, such that nine years after that, where I am today, I'm 120 kilos, um, which is almost the heaviest I've ever been. I think the heaviest I've ever been was 122 kilos, uh, which was about a month ago. And um, I've been uh, adopting a, uh, or trying to be a bit healthier with my diet the, the last month. Um, but I'm sick and tired of having to be a policeman of my my own eating continually now. When I say that, it can come across wrong. Um, my diet's actually pretty healthy. I don't splash out on burgers and fries and stuff all the time. Uh, sporadically, or maybe once or twice a week at the most, I'd have that sort of food. But most of the time, I'm eating lean proteins and healthy vegetables and minimal carbs. Um, so pretty, pretty healthy diet. Portion size, I've got to admit, probably a bit of a problem. I like my food and... Uh, and I, I need to uh, to work on my portion control and um, and probably on slowing down and chewing properly and allowing my digestive system to do its thing um, better. Um, that's stuff that I'm currently working on trying to do something about. But I've reached a point where in my life um, I have to look at my future and think about where I'm going. Um, I'm currently taking three different types of medication. I'm taking uh, Micardis for uh, high blood pressure. I'm taking Metformin to help me with my insulin um, and sugar levels. And uh, I'm not diabetic yet, but it's run, it runs in the family. And um, I've been warned that I am basically pre-diabetic and need to do something about it. Um, I also uh, am taking uh, Zoloft for depression. I think that the depression stems from feeling generally not good about myself, um, mostly because of my weight, because actually in my work life, I'm uh, um, quite well esteemed and appreciated and, uh, and um, you know, I have a good reputation and I enjoy my work. So I actually have every reason to be quite happy. Um, I've got a, a beautiful family and uh, a good job. Uh, I own my own home. So life's actually pretty good. Um, so w why would I be depressed? Well, the only thing I can put it down is that I'm carrying too much weight and I feel bad about it. So it's led me to ask some tough questions of myself. Why am I carrying too much weight? Why do I struggle with this? Is it just that I don't have enough willpower? Well, you know, I beat myself up for many years, blaming it on my willpower, but just recently, um, I read through this book, um, Why People Get Fat and What We Can Do About It by Gary Torb. Uh, it, it was uh, enlightening, I should say, um, reading this book. Uh, 
he explained the phenomenon of the the yo-go diet of the up and down and up and down and the, the amount of effort that goes in and then how you know the 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 gains that well i say gains the the wins where you've lost weight um are terrific but then you know you have periods where it's not so good and and your weight just seems to go on this gradual ascending um slope um with all these zigzags along the way not good um and uh you know you you think is it just um you know the laws of thermodyn thermodynamics is what he goes through and talks about a little bit in that book where it's you know the amount of calories in it to the calories out you know for what you're eating are you burning it by the exercise that you're doing and the more that you eat the more you're supposed to exercise um, and the, the less you eat and the, you can exercise a bit less but the truth is that the way my body works or the, what I've seen is that when I reduce my um, my intake of food when I you know really reduce the calories that I'm consuming um, everything sort of slows down and uh, I get lazy and, and unmotivated and actually start to feel really really low um, and um, you know that that's just not working for me um, then if I try to uh, exercise more well I, I'm so hungry that I'll eat anything that I can find um, so it's like they, they, they counterbalance each other the exercise and the diet it's sort of like this but it doesn't seem to matter it just sort of, sort of keeps going like this to the point where you know I'm now heavy um, as I said, I'm taking those different medications. So I've got high blood pressure, or I've got um, pre-diabetic, uh, pre-diabetes, uh, something like that. I don't want to say it is pre-diabetes, whatever, but you know, I've got to be careful of that. That it, it, it looks certainly like I'm a sitting duck for that. Um, uh, the, the depression. Um, I also have sleep apnea. I have to wear the face mask and. Um, been doing that for about six years and all of these issues are all related to my fat about how big I am um, so I, I actually want to do something about that and um, but I, I suppose you're getting from what I'm saying to you that I'm frustrated with this seesawing and this up and down and, and everything the effort that has gone into it and the continual picking on myself um, it's just not healthy, not healthy for your self-esteem. It's not healthy for your, just for your cognitive function. It just doesn't work. And I'm getting very frustrated. Um, so I've gotten to the point where I'm now considering weight loss surgery. And uh, I know I'm going to get criticism from people because they're going to say, oh, you're not fat enough for, for weight loss surgery. You know, you're only 40 kilos overweight. Oh, 40 kilos overweight is still enough to put me in danger with all of these different illnesses. So... Um, I spoke to my um, to my family doctor yesterday, and um, I got some referrals for him for some gastric surgeons, uh, uh, bariatric surgeons. So I'm um, I'm going to start the journey of looking at weight loss surgery, and uh, um, I'm probably thinking along the lines of gastric bypass rather than uh, gastric banding, um, just because of what I've read and and people that I know. Um, and uh, the research that I've done on, on YouTube. So stay tuned and um, I'm going to blog again when I have a bit more information and make my decision and I basically just wanted to say, hey, this is where I am. Maybe you're in a similar situation and you're thinking about going down the, the route of, um, of weight loss surgery and, uh, you know, if you are, I'm just sharing my journey and uh, I hope that some of it may be helpful to you.